Right now it is Christmas Eve and I wanted to share my last Sunday in Advent um, video with you. Of course that was yesterday, the last Sunday in Advent, but today is the last day of Advent. Around sunset tonight we will start celebrating Christmas. One of the ideas that we do in our house, and Thomas has been working on this project this year, because I could not find my Jesse tree ornaments. If you go on Pinterest and look up Jesse tree, you will find a lot of different ideas for making Jesse tree ornaments. But what Jesse tree ornaments are is each ornament stands for something in the story from creation through the fall of man, through salvation history to the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem. So you make ornaments symbolizing some key moments there. And Thomas, very nicely for me, has started to sketch up some of them. All right, I will cut in some more footage of Thomas making a few more and see if you can figure out where in the story those symbols come in. Okay, we're making the rainbow for Noah. That should be fun to color in. And now the ornaments are being cut. Ooh, that ladder is going to be tough. Is that supposed to be the ram? What? Uh, oh, that's the ram. Okay. The burning bush, yay! Oh, Thomas! <laughs> these are amazing, Thomas. I think I like these better than the ones I lost. Yay! Yeah. Okay, I am so happy with the ornaments Thomas made for me. They're not decorated yet, but I'm going to get this edited and up, and I may show you the finished ones on the tree during the Christmas season. The Jesse tree is a custom, is a custom that comes from, uh, Thomas did a little extra decoration on this that are going to be erased before the grandkids color these, all right? But it comes from Isaiah chapter 11, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse. And that's a prophecy of the coming of Christ descended from David. Jesse was David's uh, father, King David's father. So this is the base ornament, the stump of Jesse with a shoot coming up. So we will color and decorate that in. Um, it's probably a good idea to put these on cardboard, but for this year, I've copied all these. This year, we're probably just going to hang them, decorate them, and hang them as paper ornaments. Now, the story, each of the ornaments tells a story. First, there's the creation of the world. Thomas said, I have no idea what continents they are. That could be any planet. He suggested Alderaan. But you have a planet to symbolize the creation of the universe. That's the start of it all. You have the fruit for the fall of Adam and Eve. And then you have the rainbow for God's covenant with Noah from Noah and the Ark. You have the ram for the covenant with Abraham and Isaac, the ladder for Jacob's ladder, and I will put links to where you can find all the stories in the Bible for each of the ornaments below if you're interested. And then you have for Moses, you have first the burning bush. Just can't believe Thomas just did these really quickly. They're amazing. And of course you have the Ten Commandments for the covenant with Moses and the people of God, the Hebrew people. And then you have the kingdom of David with a star of David. Okay. And then you have where that leads. You have David's city of Bethlehem with the Christmas star above. And there's a little Bethlehem skyline. Now, as I said, if you look on Pinterest, you'll see a lot of Jesse tree ornaments. And you can actually, some people do 24, one for each day coming up to Christmas, which you can do. But since I lost my set of Jesse tree ornaments, Thomas made me this new one, and we may add new ones each year. This one he focused on each covenant. Um, Adam, Noah, Abraham, David, and then Jesus coming in Bethlehem. So I just think these are awesome. So I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'll close with my last Advent wreath lighting of the 2018 Advent season. Bye-bye. We've gone through week one. We've gone through week two, week three, and week four, the tallest candle, because it was only just lit yesterday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of light, we continue to await your coming into our hearts and into our family. 
Come quickly so that through your grace we may become more loving and peaceful. We ask this in the name of Christ, your Son, and our brother. Amen.